So the problem says that we need to compute this particular sum that is Sn equal to nc0 minus n minus 1 c1 plus n minus 2 c2 minus n minus 3 c3 and so on. Now to calculate this particular sum we can use the concept of periodicity in this case like uh, if this is the sum of Sn then we can write down as n minus 1 as replacing n by n minus 1 so n minus 1 c0 minus n minus 2 c1 plus n minus 3 c2 minus n minus 4 c3 and so on and if we write down the sum as n minus 2 so replacing n by n minus 2 it will become n minus 2 c0 minus n minus 3 c1 plus n minus 4 c2 minus n minus 5 c3 and so on now for the second series let us multiply a negative on both the side so if we take negative on both the side so this term will become negative so this term will become positive then this particular term will become negative then this will be positive and so on now before applying any algebraic operator let us revise a very important identity in combinatorics that is we know that ncr plus ncr minus 1 that sums out to be equal to n plus 1 cr so we can use this identity here that is ncr plus ncr minus 1 equal to n plus 1 cr like if i add all the three so let us add this three and let us use this identity so for the timing let's get rid of it and if I add all the three then we are getting Sn minus Sn minus 1 plus Sn minus 2 so if I add all the three rows then we can see that uh, nc0 and n minus 1 c0 both are being 1 they will be cancelled out now n minus 2 c1 plus n minus 2 c0 these two will be clubbed and they will be equivalent to n minus 1 c1 according to that identity so n minus 2 c0 plus n minus 2 c1 that will be equal to n minus 1 c1 so this whole packet will be cancelled out with this particular term n minus 1 c1 Similarly, n minus 3 c2 and n minus 3 c1, if they get added up, then n minus 3 c2 plus n minus 3 c1, they get added up to give us n minus 2 c2. So this particular term will be cancelled out with this whole packet. Similarly, n minus 4 c3 and n minus 4 c2, they get added up to form n minus 3 c3. So this whole bracket will be cancelled out with this particular term. So eventually, we can see that all the terms according to this particular pattern will be cancelled out to give us a value that is equal to 0. So this will give us a reduction formula that is Sn minus Sn minus 1 plus Sn minus 2 equal to 0 for this particular series. Now replacing n by n minus 1, we will be getting Sn minus 1 minus Sn minus 2 plus s n minus 3 so that is also going to be 0 on replacing n by n minus 1 now if I add this particular two relations or two reduction formulas on adding we are getting another simplified relation that is s n plus s n minus 3 equal to 0 and finally if we replace n by n minus 3 then it will become s n minus 3 plus s n minus 6 should be equal to 0 replacing n by n minus 3 in this particular series so if we finally subtract these two relation then this will give us s n these two will be cancelled out so s n should be equal to s n minus 6 so we'll be getting a relation something like this 
so sn equal to sn minus 6 now this implies that this particular series have got a periodicity which is going to be equal to 6 means sum of n terms will be equal to sum of n minus 6 or terms or like we can say that the sum corresponding to n will be equivalent to the sum corresponding to n minus 6 so there is a periodicity of 6 unit because the sum is getting repeated after an interval of 6 so the periodicity of this particular series is 6 now with the help of this periodicity uh, mm, it will be sufficient to find out the individual values like s1 so s1 that is for n equal to 1 we can say that s1 will be nothing but according to the series 1 c0 so that is going to be 1 then we can calculate s2 so s2 will come out to be 2 c0 minus 1 c1 that will be equal to 0 then we can go for s3 s3 will be 3 c0 minus 2 c1 so that's going to be minus 1 then we can go for s4 that will be 4 c0 minus 3 c1 plus 2 c2 so that is going to be minus 1 s5 is going to be 5 c0 minus 4 c1 plus 3 c2 So that is going to be 0 and S6 will be equal to 6 C0 minus 5 C1 plus 4 C2 minus 3 C3. So that value is going to be 1 minus 5 plus 6 minus 1. So it's going to be 1. So from S1 to S6, since we have calculated the value, then from S7 the value will be repeated because of the periodicity to be equal to 6. So we can actually say that the value of S1 will be actually equivalent to S6n plus 1. That is the value of S1 will be repeated after an interval of 6 units. So S1 will be equivalent to S7 that will be equivalent to S13 that will be S19. So in this way after an interval of 6 unit the sum is going to repeat similarly s 6n plus 2 will be equivalent to s2 then s 6n plus 3 will be equivalent to s3 s 6n plus 4 will be equivalent to s4 s 6n plus 5 will be equivalent to s5 and s 6n will be equivalent to s6 so in this way we can compute the sum for any value of n